sue the Olmos Park Police Department. Now, you may remember back in March, officers in Olmos Park arrested C.J. Grisham because they say he was carrying a loaded gun. Well, Grisham fired or faced several charges, including one felony, but those were dropped last week. Now, the city of Olmos Park has an ordinance prohibiting anyone other than police from carrying a loaded gun, but members of the gun rights group say that that is against state law. What I w do want to promise the city of Olmos Park is that one, this is not over. Two, they are not going to get away with what they did to me and Jim and the other activists here in Olmos Park. So today, Grissom reclaimed his property that was taken from him by police when he was arrested. He and another member of the Guns Rights Group tell us that they are now traveling to Houston to speak to their lawyers. The city of Olmos Park and their police department declined a request for comment. At the live desk, we have some breaking news from the Bear County Sheriff's Office. They've identified a young girl whose body was found more than a year ago. Her name is Bonnie Simmons. I believe we do have a picture. Her identity confirmed after the Sheriff's Office released a sketch and her mother came forward. That was the sketch released. And now they hope that someone has information on her death. Bonnie Simmons was found on April 30th of last year along South WW White Road. If you have any information, call the Bear County Sheriff's Office at 335-6000. Again, that number, 335-6000. Back to you. All right, thank you for that, Ashley. And huge developing news today out of North Korea. Three Americans detained in North Korea have been released and are on their way back to the United States with the Secretary of State, the new Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo. That's right now. This move is viewed as a good gesture ahead of a historic summit between President Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Bill Neely has the latest developments for us. It is the end of a three-year saga of arrest.